give you these tools they are so flimsy they don't really work but uh, ideally you've got to remove the white cover the base cover at the bottom just slide it up and down to try and free the base cover it's glued in you'll find it quite hard to remove but the secrets are if you keep at it it will generally come off As you can see that but the glue is actually on that bit there and this little bit around there as well okay we now have two screws two Phillips screws there's one there and there's one one there They are different size screws, the small screw on the edge and a little tiny one there. Okay, the phone socket, jack socket, we now have to remove. And you've got to be very careful, if you force anything it's not going to work. You're going to snap it, it's going to break. So everything is done very, very carefully. Now I'm prising it up very, very ever so slightly as you can see there. you will note that the ribbon cable is bent over. Just inside there. That's important for putting it back. So when you put it back, you're gonna bend that cable back in again to push it back in. Once you remove that, be careful otherwise you'll end up buying a new one. It will give way to another screw which is right inside there in the corner down the side there which we're going to unscrew now and there it is even smaller still that one is Okay. Okay. We're now going to remove the uh, top cover. Note the position of the switch. For argument's sake, we're going to leave it on hold. Same again. We have to remove it. It's held on by mild adhesive, like a YooHoo glue or something. We've still got to remove it. These things don't work very well, as you'll find out when you go to try and use it. You've got to be very careful if you are using the metal on metal that you don't scratch the cover. Okay. So what we need to do now is take the metal case off.
This was held on by a small screw, a middle sized screw and an even smaller screw. Now we're going to turn attention to the uh, top of the iPod and we're going to undo the screws as shown. Two of them. There's glue in this one. Two screws, same size. Once we've removed the two screws, we're now going to push upwards. Again, carefully. Like so. We now can see the screen. To remove the screen, it's glued on, so we're going to have to cut the glue to remove the screen nicely. Best way to use that is to use a very sharp blade. A razor blade or a knife or similar from the nano main board it's glued on three sides be very careful you don't break that ribbon which is holding the top metal plate on which has the hold switch on this silver cover here and take off, it's going to be glued on. Now where the ribbon goes into the contact, we're going to gently just pull that out. Like so. Okay. Now we're all ready for the, to fit the new screen.